Viva Las Vegas! Viva Las Vegas! Viva Las Vegas! Viva Viva Las Vegas! <laughs> hey everybody, it's Layla, your Sin City makeup artist, and today I'm a Vegas showgirl. That's what today is, and this was requested by Mrs. Noemi. Noemi, I think that's how you pronounce her name. I'll leave her link down below in the description box. But she requested if I would do a dramatic Vegas showgirl look for you guys, and that's what today is. And I am loving this amazing headpiece. Isn't this headdress just uh, wonderful? So this could be you could rock this on Halloween, you could rock this if you are a showgirl. Um, this is very dramatic, so you can even rock this if you wanted to do some drag makeup or anything. But I will show you my makeup. It is very dramatic, it's very sparkly. I love it. And you could even tone it down just maybe a little bit or do it just as good as this and use it for New Year's. So if you want to know how I got this Vegas showgirl look, keep watching. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is definitely moisturize your face because you're going to be applying a very full coverage of makeup all over your face. So you definitely want to make sure that you have, um, have a good layer of moisturizer on first. And then I've already primed my face because I want it to be completely even. So I went ahead with Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I want to make a dramatic line right here. So I'm going to just take just regular, just scotch tape. I'm going to take, you know, just a smaller piece. I'm going to apply this to the back of my hand a couple of times just so it's not so sticky so it doesn't hurt when I do apply it to my eyes. And then I'm going to start from the bottom corner and then I'm going to end it where the end of my eyebrow is. So. And then I'm going to do the same thing for my other eye. And then I'm going to definitely use a base. I'm using Max Painterly Paint Pot. This is just a nice, just nude base and apply this all over my lid and then I'm even going to do up to my brow bone. Okay, the first thing that I'm going to use is I'm going to use NYX's Jumbo Pencil and this is in Milk and I'll apply this all over my lid and even a little bit on my brow bone. Then go, I'm going in with a shimmery white color and this is by Paleto and this is the color Snow. I'm going to take a flat shader brush and I'm going to pack this color all over my lid and I'm even going to pack it on underneath my eyebrow bone. Now I'm going to use a matte black and this one is Bulletproof by Sugar Pill and then I'm just going to take a nice kind of a stiff fluffy brush. I'm just going to pack just a little bit and I'm going to go right here where the end of the tape is all the way up almost to where my eyebrow ends with just a little bit space. I'm going to just feather that in right along where the tape is. And then I'm going to bring it down just a little bit. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a small dome brush and I'm going to pack that bulletproof matte black color and I'm going to now do is I'm going to form a cut crease. This is 
is by Palado, and this is um, gun metal. It's just a nice charcoal gray color. I'm going to use a different fluffy brush. I'm going to go right over that black and I'm going to kind of blend it out and smudge it around. Now I'm going to take a clean fluffy brush and now I'm just going to go over at the very top and just smudge it so just so it's just not so harsh. Black eyeshadow and I am going to smudge it underneath my lower lash line. Now to kind of get this nice effect right here and take the same brush and I'm going to take it from the end right here and I'm going to curve then I'm going in with a black eye pencil and this is by Urban Decay this is zero I'm going to go on the upper waterline and my lower waterline Now I'm going to take the pencil and I'm going to go over the shadow that I had before just to make it a little darker. Now for the fun part, we're going to apply the glitter. Now I'm just taking a flat shader brush. This is the same one I already used here. I'm just going to take, where is it at? I'm going to take my Studio Fix and I'm just going to spray my brush a couple of times. And this is by True Colors, and this is just here. And this is just a stack of glitter eyeshadows that I have. And I'm just going to use this nice silver glitter here. Now this is one of the reasons why I, I do my eyes first, because I, I have a ton of fallout when I do this. And then I'm just going to pack it where I have that white color and just pack it all over my lid. Now remove the tape and you get that nice cut right there. I applied like an eyebrow jewel I guess. I got it around Halloween time. I think I got it from CVS um, when they always have like the Halloween decorations. They're just like strips that are just like that. I'm going to apply some eyelash glue on the back of it. I mean, you don't if you don't have this, you don't have to do it. I just thought it'd be a little bit more um, glitz and glam to add to it. I got these like little rhinestones, and I'm going to use two silver ones, and I'm going to add them right to the corners of my eye. Now for the fake eyelashes. Now here, these are by Mrs. Adoro. These are very dramatic long eyelashes. These are the number 118s. and then I'm just going to apply a light coat of mascara over it. Now, if you want to, you can apply bottom lashes as well just to make your eyes even pop even more. So that is it for the eyes. Now we're going to move on to the face. So grab your heavy concealers and your good coverage foundation and let's get to it. I'm What I'm going to use today is a little bit of combination of my Arbonne full coverage foundation, which I love. This is vegan and organic certified. 
Then I am taking my Sigma F84 angled brush and I'm going to start on my cheeks and I am going to apply this all over my face. I'm going to not go too close to my eyes because I'm going to use a different, I'm going to use a flat foundation brush for that. And then just to get around your eye area, I'm just taking a MAC 190. This is a foundation brush. And I'm just going to go right there. Just so you can get real close. Same thing along the eyebrows. Then once you're done, you definitely want to set this in either with a high definition powder, translucent powder, or if you want, still want that more heavier look for a stage, definitely go in with powder. This one here is by Smashbox, and we're going to contour the heck out of your cheeks. Start here from right where the end of your hairline is, and we're going to go to the middle of your cheek, and we're going to contour, contour, contour. Definitely with a nice pink blush, and this is by La Femme, and this one is Coral Spice. It's just a real pretty, it's got a little bit of hints of coral in it, but it's definitely bright pink. I'm using a flat blush brush, you can use any type of brush. And I'm just going to apply this to the apples on my cheeks and blend this in where I contoured. I'm going in with NYX's Hot Red Lip Liner. And I'm going to outline my lips. I'm going to go just a little bit outside. <laughs> And for staying power, I'm going to go ahead and fill in my lips with this lip liner. Then I'm going in with Smashboxes. This is like a deep burgundy lip gloss. I'm going to go right over that. So we are done for our face and all I have to do is just throw on that costume jewelry and your headdress. Found at a costume store this really gaudy, oh my gosh, gaudy jewelry. That's something that it reminds me that like my great grandmother would wear to, I don't know, to some show. Now if you want to, you don't have to have your hair up and pulled back. You can have it down with nice curls down to the side, but most showgirls here in Vegas have their hair pulled back in a really extremely tight bun because they do a lot of um, wardrobe exchanges. So this completes my showgirl, Vegas showgirl look. Um, I hope you really like it. It was a lot of fun. And um, if you guys have any other suggestions or requests on anything, um, feel free to go ahead and comment down below. Leave it there. Go to my Facebook page or tweet me. Leave them there. I'll talk to you guys about pretty much anything and everything. I hope you guys have a great day. Until next time. Bye. Viva Las Vegas! Viva Las Vegas! Viva!